Dave Palumbo here from Muscle Serpents Daily and welcome. It's Wednesday here and I got a huge Burmese python around my neck and he's going to help me showcase today's show which is going to involve berms. I got a package in the mail from Mike Wilbanks and Bob Clark and I'm super excited to show you guys what's in it. I never do unboxings but this is an epic unboxing. It's going to change the scope of, of some of my breeding projects. I can't wait to show it to you guys. Stay tuned. All right, I got my box here. It came from Mike Wilbank, shipped it for me. Mike and, and Bob Clark are like partners. And, I, and I, I'm not gonna tell you what it is. You guys are gonna find out. First of all, I wanna just say, Mike Wilbanks, this is a pretty sick box. Custom reptile shipping boxes, I love it. I'm very jealous now. Um, now I have to try to get my own. It even has the tape, the custom tape, Wilbanks. Really nice, I'm jealous. All right, let's get this thing open here and figure out what's going on in here. Okay. Once again, I never do unboxings. Very rarely do I do unboxings because I think it's boring. Usually I don't like to watch people open stuff up, but this is, this is pretty much an epic, epic purchase I made. Very expensive purchase too, but I think it's gonna really you know, change the scope of some of the stuff I'm doing. I've always wanted this. I love berms. I think berms are making a big comeback. You know, there was a big, a couple years ago when you couldn't ship them out of state, uh, that was a big problem and it, the berm market took a big hit, but I, 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 everyone loves berms. They're the, uh, the big snake that's friendly. I mean, what, what's better than that? You know, retics look awesome, but they're, you know, they're not the friendliest snake. All right, so I'm gonna save this one. That, that's the one I wanna show you last. Let's, let's take a look at this one first. I have two females and a male, and you guys are gonna really love this. If I can ever get this thing open. That's why I hate unboxing videos because everyone always has trouble unboxing stuff and it takes forever and they have to like kind of just kill time by talking. All right, so here's the first. This is one of my females. This is a, an albino, obviously, right? The al if only the albinos look like this their whole life. You know, if you s they get, you know, yellowed out as you saw my, my big male in the beginning of this video. But when they're born, man, they have those oranges and all kinds of crazy patterns to them. Just gorgeous. Just gorgeous. All right, so we're gonna put her back. Well, my, we'll, leave, we'll leave her out. Let's put this over here. Maybe Tyler, my video guy, can get some good footage of him, of her. And let's get the next one open. So that, that's, you know, that's pretty, you know, this looks like nothing special, right, right now? We got a female. Here we got another female, okay. Nothing too crazy, right? Just two female berm pythons, Burmese pythons. Now we get into the next bag here. And we go in there. And what do we find? We find an ice pack. That's not what we wanted. Wait a minute here. Oh, here's the bag we were looking for. I thought I got an extra goodie. I thought they just happened to say, you know what, Dave's a nice guy. We're going to give him a little extra stuff. All right, let's move this down here. And... Here it is, there it is, the Pied Burmese Python. How cool is that? Now obviously Pied is when the white breaks up the, the pattern of the regular Burmese Python. It also seems to lighten the typical, this doesn't look like a typical normal Burmese Python on top. It definitely, Pied always breaks up things. This is, I don't know if this would be considered a low white Pied. I kind of like the low white Pieds better, to be honest with you, uh, than the than that when you get too much white in there because then you kind of lose the pattern a little bit. Now these females are actually, ooh, these females are, are frisky. These females are albinos, het for pied, and probably het for granite. This male is a, just a, a pied. So we're gonna do some nice breeding of these guys down the road if we don't lose this guy right here. Now, when young snakes are nippy, that's actually a good thing. Not good for the person getting bit, but it's good because it means they're going to eat, and they're very food, you know, responsive, and, and that's good. And, and, and berms love to pee, too. So we got a little bit of pee on us. We got bit. There's blood and pee. But, you know, when it's all said and done, this is going to be such a great project because I always love berms, and, I, and I've been looking at these pieds that they have for so long overseas, and I said, man, if one day I can only get one of these things, it would be phenomenal. And so I'm really, really excited to work on this project here. I want to thank Bob Clark. Ouch, 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 ouch. I want to thank Bob Clark. Let's put these in here so they don't go too crazy. 
and Mike Wilbanks for getting me these great snakes. And you guys are going to get to see them grow up and do all kinds of cool stuff here. And who knows? You know, the great thing about berms is, is they grow up. I don't want to lose the snake. They grow up very, very quickly. And within 18 months, a lot of times you can breed them, even the females, which is unheard of in any other python species. So we'll see. I don't like to power feed, so I'm not going to do that. So even if it takes me two years to get these things going, it's going to be super cool. You know, here in, in Florida, you, know, you need to have a class three conditional species license to have these Burmese pythons because you know, they are, there's a threat of them obviously getting out in the wild. Obviously, an albino's not going to survive out there, but they have you know, strict laws. And I really think it's a great idea that they have these laws. This way, by getting this class three conditional species license, which they come and inspect your facility, they make sure you have locked cages and you're doing things responsibly, it prevents the spread of these, these animals and it keeps these snakes in the hands of, of qualified you know, people. And I think that's, that's the problem. Sometimes uh, some people buy snakes, they want a big snake and they don't really, can't really take care of it. When you have to apply for a class three conditional license, you, you already know you have com made a commitment to keeping reptiles and this is very important to you. And I, and, I, and I really hold this up in very high regard and high esteem that it's important that you are responsible with your reptiles, especially a snake that can get, you know, to Thomas 20 feet. I mean, obviously, if you don't overfeed them, it's not going to be an issue. They're not going to get probably that big. My snakes will never get that big. I'll never overfeed them like that. But once again, it's a big snake, and it needs to be respected. And you don't want people letting these things loose or just, you know, giving them away or, or you know, just maltreating them. So I love the Class 3 conditionals idea here in Florida. I wish more states would adopt that. Once again, it doesn't prevent you from having them. It just prevents you. It just makes sure that you're a responsible breeder and a responsible keeper. The male is gorgeous though, look at that. What's nicer than a pied Burmese black dog? <laughs> and they're frisky too, they're very frisky. But if you look, they don't, it doesn't look like a regular. You know, the, it, the pied not only adds that white in there, but it also changes the pattern. Oh, this guy's not happy. It changes the pattern of the regular Burmese python. So, you know, this is a wild type looking berm, but yet it doesn't have that pattern of a wild. It's all, it's all faded and it all has all kinds of you know, blushing in there, and you can just see the, the borders of where the, the, the pattern meets the white. It looks all like orangey, just really cool. And of course, these females are kind of pissed off. They just came in, so I'm gonna put them in their cage and let them just kind of relax and calm down and hopefully maybe try to feed them in a couple days. I will keep you updated on this project, however, as it progresses. This is really exciting. Once again, thank you, Bob Clark and Mike Wilbanks. Dave Palumbo here with Muscle Serpents Daily. This was a short one, but a potent one. Hopefully you guys love the footage.